Hi, I'm Linda Wooldridge. I'm a homeschool mom. And every year, I need to provide new textbooks for my student. Remember, when I made the decision to homeschool, essentially I seceded from the homeschool, from the school system. And I have to provide my own books for my own school system, that is to say, my homeschool. Obviously, used books can be a great buy because, well, they've had a life prior to my family. And hopefully, I can sell them again at the end of the year and let them have a life with yet another family. There are a couple of things that you want to be aware of when you look at used textbooks. And this book I have in my hand is a really good example. You see, the person who bought it before us loved their highlighter. And it has a lot of highlighted material in it. If you have a student who isn't really, really visually oriented and isn't going to be bothered or distracted by those highlightings, then this is a great way to save a few bucks. But if your student is very visually oriented, you have to be careful because the things that the person before you highlighted might not have been the most important things. Also, be really aware of the price of a new copy of whatever book you're looking for. Because sometimes, frankly, especially on eBay, things become really overpriced. Or people may have an inflated version of what the price of their book should be. Also, make sure you're getting the current edition to the book, not one that's been used so long that you can't get the support materials. Because you might need an answer key or a test booklet to go with it. But all in all, if you're careful, if you do your research prior to buying your books, you can get some great buys by buying your books used. I'm Linda Wooldridge. Have a great homeschool day.